Well, you know, the, the best thing coming out of today is no injuries, so everybody's healthy going into the summer. Yes, yeah, so that's really the, the biggest thing I worried about, you know, this week uh, was, you know, just very happy with so many things this spring, just making sure that we didn't, didn't have anything here at the end that really was a, a negative. So uh, kids have fun today, okay? Um, I think they would have liked a little more scoring on the offensive side, uh, but uh, you know I think that's you know it shows you know, when you start splitting things up the way you, you got split up right there, you know how much they need each other, uh, and so uh, but you know great to have uh, the fans that were here today. That was incredible. You know the fact that you know really we weren't having fans till this time last week, and uh, I kind of invited them. Uh, but to have so many show up, that was just so great. Uh, and I just, I, I told the kids that was the biggest thing. They need to make sure that, that, that we say thank you to that group for coming back. Uh, and just, you know, I look forward to the next time we're in a game situation in Daddy Ficklin Stadium. I think September, is it uh, 11th? Yeah. Is that the right date? September 11th. Okay, uh, with the home opener. Uh, so hopefully there's 51,000 uh, Pirates screaming and yelling in the, in the stadium. So, but uh, good ending to the spring. So now get ready for uh, final exams this week and uh, take a quick break and uh, get ready for summer training. How much uh, trash talk was there from Warren? Oh, it was, it was you, you could, I'm sure you could tell from the, uh, from the box. So, uh, you know, the officials probably could have penalized that white sideline all day long. <clears throat> but it was all in good fun. Yeah, all in good fun. The two quarterbacks on the goal side, especially Mason and Stubblefield, look like they in the second half got more comfortable and poised. Did you see them kind of progress as the day went on? Yeah, you know, it's those two. You know, Mason's had a little bit of game action, but not a lot. And that's the biggest thing when you get out there that's, you know, it's easy to, you know, in practice you got, you know, Donnie standing right there, you got Shank standing right there, you got Coach Dudzik standing right there, and they're all talking to the kids during practice. But you get out there on that field in the game, and it's all on them. And for some of them, that's their first college game action, like Ryan. Uh, and so I really felt like, you know, after they kind of calmed down, uh, you know, did a lot of good things. But that, that experience, even though it's a, a spring scrimmage, that experience is so important for those young players. It seems like a tight-knit group. Um, <coughs> the better ones I've seen in, in quite a while here. Well, I mean, that's, you know, when we came in, that's what we said we wanted to create, because I think that is the key to success is having unity, you know, caring for each other, uh, you know, that, that camaraderie, that, that brotherhood, uh, that is critical to winning teams, winning programs. And so we've worked very, very hard to try to create that, and, and the kids have just done a great job of, you know, just embracing that culture and really trying to cultivate that culture inside the locker room. What happens this week with the meal now? The purple guys have to serve the meal? So they, they Mo Monday, Monday night, uh, 5.30, we're having dinner in the tower and uh, the purple team will assist in serving the gold team. Uh, it's a, a winner's dinner. What's on the menu then? Uh, steak, shrimp, uh, all the sides, uh, and some kind of dessert. So we're invited? <coughs> uh, well, I don't know. You have to ask the kids. Oh, okay. <laughs> when you look back at this spring, the work that your team did, what's your biggest takeaway? Biggest takeaway uh, is probably just the improvement top to bottom in the in the roster, uh, and it's just we were we were talking earlier this week. You know the fronts, uh, the size and the ability of the fronts uh, finally fits in with the AAC. Um, you know the stand up skill positions, uh, the speed that we have there, uh, obviously is vastly improved, and so that's that's one takeaway. Second takeaway uh, is probably just that we've got to we've got to make sure that we protect ourselves against the things that can keep us from having uh, the kind of year we have a chance to have. You know, we've got to make sure that all those guys that are on that field, that they're on the field when it comes September 2nd down in Charlotte. You know, can't do anything that uh, takes that eligibility away from us, takes that opportunity away from us. Got to make sure that we, uh, you know, address being able to function, uh, you know, with the COVID virus. You know, whether that's we're all fully vaccinated or we, you know, can maintain uh, COVID protocols strictly uh, throughout the summer and the fall, uh, it's going to be an issue if we don't uh, if we don't have an answer for it. And so, yeah, those are probably the two biggest. Coach, to see King get in the end zone a couple of times, being a walk on, how special is that? I'll tell you, he's had a great spring. Uh, we, we were talking about him this week because it wasn't just today. He's he has legitimately had a, uh, a solid, uh, you know, very impressive spring. Um, 
if you'd asked me a year ago if he would uh, be out there doing that, I probably would have said uh, no, uh, because just you know he 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 was not you know that what you saw today. He was not that when he first got here. But a lot of freshmen aren't. Okay, uh, he has worked so hard uh, and has developed himself, and he can run now. Uh, but just his consistency catching the football has been the biggest improvement on him this spring. So I'm excited to see him this summer, and hopefully, you know, he can translate that into uh, making the travel roster this fall. I noticed some corners today, like Tucker and Chalmer, they were matched up against some of your top guys. Aside from that one long pass, I mean, that those guys provide depth. I mean, what did you think of your corners kind of overall today? Well, I, I really like that room. Uh, and, you know, you look at you know, it was not exactly a strong suit two years ago. But now you've got Jaquan and Malik and Nolan and, and DeMel, which are you know, kind of proven commodities, have played a lot of snaps for us uh, and done so very, very well. And they're all still fairly young. And then you, Sean Tucker, Chalmers, Crump, you know, those guys have gotten so much valuable experience this spring, so you finally have some depth in that room. Uh, but very pleased with, you know, Coach Steve Ellis, I think the world of. He is a fantastic uh, position coach, and he's done a great job with that group, not just this spring, but uh, ever since he's gotten here. Like you are moving Xavier around a little bit? Like right yeah. In, is that something he's been trying to expand the game? Well, um, you know, it's one, uh, didn't want him getting a ton of snaps today. Uh, coming off of off-season off -season injury, um, he's back healthy now. Wanted to get some action, but not a lot. And it's something we've toyed with uh, the past uh, week or so, just with the depth we have in the linebacker room. So uh, I think uh, with some of uh, Coach Harrell's exotics uh, that he has, uh, you can see a lot of those guys on the field together. <clears throat> Splitting up so many different guys. Yeah. I guess the offensive line in particular is so you see going. Yeah. The first team so many of their same guys. How do you think they maybe handle that? Uh, they probably appreciate each other a lot more because, uh, you know, I, I, you know all, all spring and particularly the last week or so, the offensive front has really started to come together and, and, and play very, very well. But now you split and you got two of them on one side and three of them on the other. Uh, they probably appreciate, uh, you know, all five of them being together after that. All delays decide, you know, aside and everything, how would you kind of depict this overall spring camp a little bit? Solid. I mean, I, it, not the best it could have been because I think that if we hadn't had the delay, I think we could have had a better spring. Uh, but certainly it's drastically uh, improved from what it was in 2019. Kind of big picture going on that. What's maybe next as far as the summer? What do you think is really the focus needs to be for this team to get to where it needs in August? Well, the next is the training this summer. Um, <clears throat> the big focus this winter has been trying to get bigger and stronger. Uh, We've got to get in shape. Uh, you know, so uh, Coach Big John, he'll start here mid-May. We'll have some additions joining us, uh, a few in mid-May and a, f a few there at the beginning of June. So by the beginning of June, we should have pretty close to our full roster for the fall uh, here training throughout the summer. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's that training. It's get, getting as big and as fast and as strong as we can before fall camp. Uh, it's continuing to uh, mesh uh, cohesively, uh, you know, all, all phases, all people. Uh, and so, uh, you know, that starts here in mid-May. Do you think that was kind of established or, or in all the spring with the guys you mentioned having fun? And it seems like they like to be with each other. Is that kind of where you're at? Is a good starting point? Yeah, I mean, that's, it's like I said, it's what we tried to, you know, create when we got here. And, it, you know, I, I remember the first time I stood in this room, and I've talked about it a lot, just the atmosphere was just so beat down and it was so negative. Uh, well, it's not that anymore. Uh, but, you know, really it was last, last year in the fall, you know, all the adversity that uh, we had to go through with playing a football season during a pandemic. Uh, and it's kind of just, just us. I mean, you know, you guys weren't here. Fans weren't here. Uh, you know, at least uh, not many, a few. Uh, but it was just going through that together, I think, really brought this group together. And, uh, and they, you know, they have fun. They work hard. They compete. They have fun. Pretty good. Wish we could have got a little bit more drives, but I mean, we knew going in that that uh, we weren't. Well, I mean, we were on a play limit. Um, so I, mean, I thought we did good. I thought we competed. Um, it was a little bit sloppy there for a little bit, but I mean, spring. That's, that's just kind of what it's going to be when you're playing some of these young guys. How tough was it? Because like, obviously, you're used to work for the first team. You are split up a little bit. Different offensive linemen. Was that tough to get used to? Though? Uh, not really. Um, you know, during spring, that's the time where you you kind of interchange people um 
it was good to, to kind of go with different people there. But, I mean, you do get used to a certain group and you go with them. That's, that's more during the season. But, um, you know, some of, most of the guys that were blocking for me today, I'd been with at some point of the spring just because, you know, that's what spring ball is really for is getting guys in and seeing what they can do. Well, what's your biggest takeaway from this spring work with your team? Um, that I mean, it's a different program than it was when I first got here, when Coach Houston first got here. Um, I mean, it's a bold program. It's time to, time to get them there. So. Did you and Coach Fry try and push in the second half to get you back out there? No, nah, I knew it wasn't going to happen. <laughs> I wish. Sneed was trying to get me to tell him on the headset to run the receiver pass, but no, nah, yeah, we knew it wasn't going to happen. One of the biggest hits of the day was when you ran over Coach Harrell. Can you take a yeah. that whole play? I don't even remember. It was a pass play, and I just ran. Um, and he was so close to the sideline, and I was looking upfield to throw it. And then by the time I got to the sideline, he was right there. I felt so bad for that. But, I mean, I hope he's okay. I don't know. He won, so he'll be fine. He's in concussion protocol. Yeah, he probably is. He probably is. No, nah, he's good. They won, so I'd rather rather got hit than lost. So. What was it like for you to see Mason and Stubblefield, even though – like kind of against your team the second half they really kind of settled down did you kind of notice that and since that an older oh yeah for sure i mean anytime you get kind of live reps like that even i mean that's a spring game but even during practice um i mean you can see him progressing and stuff like that but anytime in front of live fans i remember my first time my first spring game in front of live fans really and i mean they've been here for a year but they haven't really had that i mean mason started his game but you know stubby that was his first time in front of live fans, really, for the most part, um, other than a couple of scrimmages, I guess, with, with family. But it was, it was good to see them go out there and do good, yeah. Kyle Moon's had a pretty good spring, and we had a catch today. But just the development of the tight end position here, is that been a focus of spring to get those guys on ball? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, we got some talented guys in there. Um, I mean, I think you look across the board, it might be one of our deepest positions. Um, we've got a few more coming in. So, I mean, it's exciting. I mean, anytime you can – split those guys out and then they can catch the ball and then go in and block. I mean, there's not many people like that that you can just go across and recruit. I mean, every school in the country wants that, but, you know, not everyone gets it. So it's good that we got a couple. Holton, kind of the same question I asked Tyler, just uh, the fact that Coach is having everybody try to get their COVID-19 vaccines. Your thoughts on that and if you're going to get yours? Yeah, um, I got my second one of the Pfizer one two days ago. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I – I couldn't miss another game. I mean, last year sitting at home, you know, that sucked um, watching watching the game on TV. So, I mean, that was kind of my final decision was I wasn't going to miss another game because of this. Um, and I've I tried to push that on the team. Um, but I mean, it's, it's an individual decision. Uh, but obviously, you know, I mean, if, if we have enough people that get it, then we'll be fine. So hopefully we do. All right. Good. Thanks, Paul. Yeah. I uh, think, it, think it started good. Um, obviously, the gold team beat the purple. So. I'm not too happy about that, but uh, I think there are a lot of bright spots. Uh, still, some things we can work on, but overall, I thought it was a good day. It's going to be like serving those guys on Monday. They didn't talk any crap or anything, did they? Nah, none out there. Monday might hear a little bit. Uh, I heard a lot of guys like a medium rare, so that's that's probably how we'll serve it. How, how much has this team kind of improved over the course of the last three, four weeks? I think we've improved a lot. You know, I think we started off really strong before uh, we had to take the couple of days off for COVID, and then I think we bounced back even better. So uh, I think we've improved a lot this spring. Every practice is physical. Whether we're in helmets, shells, or full pads, we're always going after each other. They, uh, when we were doing walkthroughs, that just calm us down the first day because we were still going after it. So every day is full speed. It wasn't any different for us today. Sean, six-year senior now. Kind of picture your journey here. What does it mean to be a, one of the older guys now? Um, East East kind of became my home. I mean, I've been here longer than I lived in my first house. So it's definitely a place that I looked for a future here. So when they gave us the opportunity to come back, it was lovely because we were starting to get it right. And we really are excited to see where it goes. How do you maybe compare and contrast your first year with the things we're in now? Was there any hesitance to come back for a six year or was it as soon as it no, nah, me, uh, me and Fernando Fry, when COVID first hit, made a deal back in like February that if something was going to happen and they're going to give us another year, we we're going to take it. So we were actually hoping for it pretty early. <laughs> Your group overall has gotten bigger and stronger. It's, it's noticeable um, when you look at the group overall. Talk about the, the progress overall in that regard. Um, Big John's gotten us really right. He's um, Him and his staff have really personalized our training to fit the needs of each athlete and 
our group's really just taken it to heart and bought in and showed up to work every single day with a hard-nosed attitude and ready to get after it. It seems like Coach Shank is finally giving that room some continuity. Oh, absolutely. This is uh, the closest we've ever been. I mean, I don't want to sound like we weren't close in the past, but this year, like, everyone's constantly talking to each other. The communication's 100% better. Just everyone's on the same page almost all the time. As far as linemen getting stronger, that, you know, bigger, that, how do you mentally feel that? I mean, it, obviously, you go work out and stuff, but how does that mentally kind of confidence work hand in hand? Um, well, when you're bigger, faster, and stronger, you block better. And then when you block better, it builds your confidence, and then you just get after it. <laughs> Uh, foot, Isaiah Foot had a really good spring, and um, I think surprised a lot of people. He really got a good grasp at center, and then when Trent came back, he transitioned back to guard, and he still did very well. And then um, Richard Pierce, he's young, so he doesn't know what he doesn't know, but just raw talent and work ethic, he's going to be a beast. What do you think of those two running backs, Mitchell and Harris? Obviously, it seems like they're pretty versatile and dynamic. What's it like to, to have those guys behind you? Oh, it's awesome. It's fantastic. We love it. <laughs> it's great when uh, you have a guy that can take the play one way, and if something breaks down, can take it the exact opposite way and score 60 yards. Um, it feels great. I think it feels better because I know it was a defensive game today, You know, having to be in 3-3 the whole game and then coming off late and scoring. So that felt good. Obviously, it feels good to win. Hopefully, you know, that's a feeling that's accustomed to us now. And I'm really just proud of everyone as a collectively. Because, you know, being through, like, the changes, you can just feel how different it is from here in the past. And it's just a good feeling to be able to see that change. We seem pretty active on the sideline. I think it'll stub the long run. You mm -hmm. ran out to green him and, like, midfield. Well, coaches, <laughs> well, coaches, they pride on having energy. But me, I'm just, that's just who I am as a person. You know, if someone makes a play, you know, everyone makes a play. And I'm celebrating like I made the play myself. So when someone makes a play, I don't know, that just makes me happy. I'm happy for them. So. I can't control myself when I go out there and celebrate with them. That's just who I am. You guys have been through the wars a little bit. You seem to be getting better. What's the confidence level like on this team as you head into the summer? Uh, confidence, I think it's greater than we ever had. You know, having a second year to really learn a defense, you know, defensively, you know, offense, you know, having their rhythm, having all their guys come back. I think that's really good for us. And then, like, just like, knowing the scheme coming in the spring, you feel me, knowing already what we have to do and things like that. I feel like that's a great thing, like a start on like building, not having to restart and restart. You played inside and kind of rush position. <laughs> you seen that? You uh, seen that? Coach said y'all been doing that about a week. What's that maybe uh, transition to like? Um, I'm just doing whatever I can do to help the team best win this year. If that means playing rush and linebacker, I'll do that for my team, my boys. So that's what that is. Which one you like better? Uh, I enjoy playing football, so. <laughs> Either place I can make a play yet, I think I'll enjoy that. Linebacker, I'm more comfortable with linebacker, but rush, I enjoy playing rush too. So if it helps the team, you know, I feel good about it. Victory dinner Monday. Which one of your teammates on the purple team are you most concerned about mm -hmm. serving food? Uh, I'm not concerned about anybody, but I think the linebackers, Miles, Bruce, Tez, I think I'm going to pick them to serve me my little steak medium well. Gatorade, three ice cubes, nothing less, on the rocks. Uh, pull out my chair, pick up my plates. So I'm really excited about that. I know that's going to be fun, another competition all in itself. So I'm excited about that. It seems like obviously the gold team had fun at the end. The Gatorade bats were just flowing. Mm -hmm. How fun was it to, to win this thing? Kind of, a, you know, you're competing obviously against teammates. Uh, well, it was, it was really fun for me because Warren, my roommate, and, you know, we had talked about it, like, all the way leading up to this game. So I was happy for him because he was calling the shots. And I know that's what he wanted to be, like, outside of football. So I was real happy for him. So he had to get the first Gatorade bath. And then the offensive coordinator had to get one. And then I had to get Coach Harrell because he ain't never get got. He was a little mad, but he'll be all right. He'll be good. Were you the first pick by Warren? Um, pick you up as a roommate? Well, how did the draft go with that? He said he wanted all his roommates on his team. I don't really know what place I fell. But I was on his team, so I was okay with it. I was happy. As a team, I feel like uh, we've definitely gotten better. Just uh, and having the same coaching staff this time around, 
Uh, we've just been able to like tweak certain things with the defense. I'm not sure about the offense, but I know the defense being able to uh, tweak certain things. Uh, coach has been looking back at last year's film, making adjustments and whatnot. And then it's just uh, like the team chemistry is at an all time high right now. Like since I've been here, like all the guys love each other, everybody. Like we're just one solid team right now. And it's just, I feel like the way we're going right now, and then with the summer coming up, that uh, we'll be uh, forced to reckon with this year, I feel like. What's the motivation level overall? I know you guys want to strike back and come here and kind of free will something this fall. Talk about that a little bit. Um, that's really, I might say we just want to win and get back to, uh, we always talk about how things used to be uh, back when like we were uh, being ranked teams or whatnot. That's just uh, really just, we always feel like we have something to prove because we definitely do. And we know we're better than what we've been putting on the field the last uh, couple of seasons. Uh, we let a couple of games get away from us uh, these last, in 2019, 2020. And we just know we're better than what we've been putting on than the uh, three and four win seasons we've been putting together. We know we're better than that. So that's our number one motivation, just uh, getting to the bowl game, conference championship, this uh, postseason play, just December play. We're tired of going home for a whole month. Last season, that you had personally, how much does that kind of just build your confidence? It, it kind of gets you to emerge as a leader a little bit on this, this season. Um, yeah, it does. Uh, with my performance last year, I just feel like I'm one. I feel like I'm one of the leaders on the team, and I just feel like I just have to, like, I gotta like show it. I guess, like. <laughs> how, do you, how do you kind of just build on that mentally? You know what I mean. I just try to, cause I'm, since I know a lot of people are looking at me, especially all the younger guys, I just try to, uh, like, be a set an example uh, with my actions and the way I carry myself around here. I just, uh, since I know they're looking at me, I want them to see what uh, power football is all about, how uh, things are done in, in our program. Jeremy, you get to do a lot of different things in your role, you know, blitz, dropping coverage. How much do you enjoy kind of the versatility of your role and this this defense as a whole? I definitely love it. Uh, being able to cover the pass and uh, also fit the run, also rush the quarterback, which is something I've never done before uh, throughout high school, just growing up. So just like the way uh, our defense is set up, I'm a free hitter most of the time. Most of the time I'm unblocked, so it's just I'm available to make a lot of plays, uh, man coverage uh, in the backfield, uh, the run game, pass game, just everything. I'm, I'm all over the field pretty much. That's why I like it a lot. Uh, I've been bugging Coach Houston about changing my number for years, and I've really been wanting five, but uh, he always tells me, talk about uh, CJ and like the special teams and whatnot. And then when they put out the new zero rule, he was like, if I like just keep trending upward, going the way I've been uh, going, how it was last season, he was like, I, number zero is uh, mine. And then the offseason came around, and he, I guess, stuck to his word, kept his word. Yes, sir. Yeah. For today was my first time seeing it, like, in uniform. I, yeah, I like how it looks. It was pretty much fun, no matter if you won or lost. But uh, just uh, the whole week, you know, the guys know in spring game and stuff like that. So uh, everybody had their competitive edge and everything. Me and Fry had something going on. So it was just it was fun all, all overall. Overall fun. You know we're not going to buy that, right? That's cool. It was fun if you won or lost? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I wouldn't say it's not fun to lose. You know what I'm saying, but they had fun playing. You know, we was we had to have fun in the locker room and stuff. You know, on the winning side, of course. You know, the, the I didn't know they was going Gatorade bad for me, so uh, that was uh, something new. I don't like that. I, I see why coaches don't like getting wet. But uh, yeah, though. So I mean, we we just have fun as a team. You know, locker room is growing um, together better than it, it, it has ever been. So it it was fun. Take us through the process of being a G. Um, when I uh, when I was notified that I was going to be picking, I thought it was going to be pretty easy. You know, like you watch the team every day, you know who you want to be on your team. But uh, um, when you actually are picking and and Fry is there with you, so you don't think he he's going to do something that you you know uh, that he's going to do. But uh, it was actually pretty hard, and stressful picking a team and putting a team together. So uh, I'm glad I don't got that pressure right now. How much did you kind of lock in on the defense today? It seems like, you know, the defensive backs, so you were calling out signals a little bit. Did you enjoy kind of coaching in a way? See, uh, yeah, I want, after my football is career done, I want to I get into coaching. 
So it was uh, fun for me to get that role today. Um, picking wise, yeah, um, I didn't think it was gonna end up that way. I thought I was gonna, I was going into the draft uh, focusing on offensive players, but of course Fry plays offense, so he's gonna get the, try to get the better offensive players. Uh, so I just, um, the day before, Jawa was like, um, hey, why don't you go get the mail first? And I said, get the mail first? I got Nolan and, and, and Jaquan. Why? He was like, because that's going to throw him off. And surely it did, because when I said I want the mail, he was my first defensive pick. So when I got the mail, Coach Houston kind of looked at me like, the mail? I'm like, yeah, I want the mail first. And then I ended up getting, you know, Malik and Nolan, they all played out in my favor. Um, I was trying to get all my roommates. Uh, I got everybody except Miles, so I was disappointed in that. But uh, it was pretty fun, like I said. Any players in particular you want to uh, serve you your stake on Monday? Uh, uh, yeah, either uh, either Jaira or Jaquan. They were talking the most to me. They didn't have belief in my team, so uh, I'm glad my team. Not even my team, but I'm I'm glad uh, the guys went out and played hard. Definitely.